Yo, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching World War Z. Let's get into it. So I've never actually seen this film. This is the first time watching it. I really wanted to watch it uh, in theater when it did come out. Love zombie films. Um, but something occurred. It was a family emergency. And I wasn't able to go see it in theater. Um, and just never had the time to watch it. So I'm really excited to sit down and finally watch it. You know, and it also fits the whole... October Halloween theme that's occurring. So it's perfect timing. Yet again today, another group of dolphins became stranded. That's sad. All the talk about a doomsday is a big hoax. Damn, you saw that wolf? <laughs> that shot right there where it showed the kids going in uh, reminded me of uh, a little bit into Dawn of the Dead. When the little girl appears and she's all zombified and all that. That's what kind of gave me a, the feeling of that was a pretty interesting uh, shot. A puppy? You mean a stuffed animal puppy? Because that we can do. <laughs> Did you pack your own inhaler? Yeah, you don't want to forget that. Especially what might occur soon. All you do is make pancakes in the yeah, morning. Yeah, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> make it, make it pancakes. Make it, make it pancakes. Oh, we have been Philly. All right. Is it an animal you would have for a pet? Yes. Definitely a fun game to kind of continuously wait on this nasty traffic. Nice. Oh. Hold on, guys. Daddy, be careful on the road. It's okay, dude. Yeah, but you just broke his mirror. He, they even coming back. I almost broke the other one. Yeah, I would not be comfortable in this type of traffic and people acting like this. Oh shit. Now I know you love that car, but I'm out. <laughs> we gotta go. Remain with your oh shit. A few seconds later, that would have been Brad Pitt. Damn. This garbage truck do not care. Oh. Oh my lord, little kid. You're so fu- Shit. I wouldn't be surprised that little kid had broken ribs or something from being on the floor like that. Damn. Why did he get his RV? Bro, why are you standing there just watching while everybody is running? Oh. Damn. Damn, she went full throttle into that car. Oh my lord. Oh shit. Oh my gosh, hold on to that teddy bear then. Three. Four. Is it counting how many seconds until they took? Oh. Eleven. Oh, that's really well done. Oh. Seconds. Oh, shit. Ooh. You should probably close your window on the other side, I would think, right? That's wild. Oh, she needs her inhaler. Oh, this is not a good time for it to stall like this. Oh. Is it true? Are they... Connie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. What do you mean we've lost Boston? All right. Good luck, Jay. Lost Boston too? Dang, that was fast. New Jersey too. See, there's a few problems with that. One, everyone's obviously... Whatever, you gotta grab the necessities and call it a day. And then you left your RV, which is the only possible transportation you do have. But what are you going to do? Leave, have one of them sit in the car and possibly get, you know, assaulted, so or stolen or whatever. You want to stay together. It's just definitely um need to make those quick decisions. Oh, bro, he just needs an inhaler, bro. What do you need? Thank you. Okay. And this shit too is magic for my kid. That was nice. 
What? It's mine! Yeah! What the hell? Bro, you pull out that rifle. Hey. <laughs> what's wrong with these people? There's an apocalypse and shit, and you, you worried about. I don't know what the hell you gonna do to her. Like, bruh. Oh, he's getting baby food. Oh, that shit sucks. Oh, that sucks. It already sucks having ki having kids and this particular. Obviously, you don't know that this is coming, but I'm just saying, having a baby and there's this. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Y'all need to move. He's just enjoying life. <laughs> Wait. Did they just like? Did the zombies just run past him like whatever? Oh, that was weird. Oh, they block. They block the stair. Are you serious? Oh. Oh, that was very nice. Oh, appreciate it, paisanos. Are you guys hungry? Yes, thank you. Appreciate it, paisas. That's that was that was very nice. Definitely risky. It's <laughs> accept anybody, but that was very nice. Crazy situation. Señor. Hmm. Where's the other daughter? She was crying. That's very nice. Necesitan algo más antes de irse. It's very smart. It's a thick ass magazine too, so that's nice. It's very tough to get through that, especially if it's only a very, a very few attempts at biting it. You, you, you have. It's durable enough. For the few times. I mean, technically, you could stay in your room, be quiet enough, and maybe not ever get caught, possibly, by the zombies because there's so many floors. But understand when you run out of food. They did get caught. Oh, shit. How do we know they're coming? They're coming. No, that's definitely. Yeah, no, you don't even know they're up there you're ready yet. Shit. <laughs> that got me. Oh my gosh, why y'all gotta yell? Just stab the head if you can. Oh, that's nasty. Shoot the flare. Oh, don't tell me both his parents got. Oh, good shit, Tommy. His parents must have. Damn, that sucks. Stay back! Oh, because he got blood in his mouth. He's making sure he wouldn't. I got it in my mouth. You're okay. Oh, that would. <laughs> that would change the whole movie. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Damn, they're just jumping off. That sucks. For, that that shot right there sucks for the military people because obviously all their they're working technically or they're in the military and the, they're safe technically to an extent, but their family is that's yeah because that soldier looking at Brad Pitt's family and just having a face like Are you recording any that's wild. How the hell do I know what Russia's falling? <laughs> I think here's so much about Russia. <laughs> so we send him to Fasbach there to look for the source. He's just a kid. Yeah. You were on the ground during the Liberian Civil War. Oh. There's a long line of people waiting for one of those bugs. Yeah, you're kind of forced upon that position. Millions of people are wanting to, yeah. I only have a place to stay if I don't. Back in Philly tonight. We're going to make the best of it. Love. You're awesome. I feel so bad for that kid. He saw his parents just... You gotta do what you gotta do. It's a rough position, but faster you're able to figure this out, faster things can try to get to normal, I guess. Or start cleaning up, at least. These guys are hammers. And to hammers, everything looks like nails. I heard that. You were meant to. <laughs> it's the most brutal aspect of the virus. It turns out to be the chink in his armor. 
and she loves disguising her weaknesses as strengths. She's a bitch. <laughs> Uh, 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 that's interesting. Yeah. I like how he kind of displayed it. He directs it to Naval Station Norfolk. Who do you have all those pictures for? Dang, you really cannot see. The one on the fence might be still alive. Yeah, the one on the barbed wire. Oh! Did he just shot himself in the head? He slipped. He's dead. Come on. Bruh. What about Houston? St. Louis? Baltimore. Atlanta. That sucks. Huh. Oh yeah, he's right here. Oh. His fingers are okay. Oh. You all escape this. The expenditure of ammunition. <laughs> Biting everything like fat kids love Twix. <laughs> yeah, Davidson wins. He turned in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Why does he look familiar? Ay, ay, ay. Why is Israel winning? The wall, right? I would think. Finish all those thousands of years of work a week ago. It is very weird timing. I'm going to Jerusalem. I'm your co-pilot. Hopefully they have enough fuel to be able to make that happen. Karen? Hello? Well, at least you know the call went. That's, that's, at least something good that's positive. We've got one chance to fuel their planes. So let's do it right. This is going to be intense. I would think that the bikes were, were kind of loud. Oh my lord, don't you, are you serious? Do not call. That thing Please turn off all pages and cell phones. <laughs> Please don't call, Cap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, be careful. Oh no. Sorry, boys. I got this one. Damn. So, what happened to the other guy? Is he, go is he gonna go back to them or is he sacrificing himself or what? That's crazy. They're just sitting in the middle of the ocean, just. I, I know, we can't even be mad at her. She she didn't know. This sucky timing. Oh. I'm guessing that was a nuke. Pan, pan. West Median land. Huh? I'm happy they let them land. There's so many potential sources in play that no one knows where it began. Well, I really can't be from anywhere. Every human being we save is one less only to fight. Oh, that's awesome that they're taking, all, uh, taking everybody in. Oh. Oh wow. Ta -da! It's it's wonderful that they're celebrating and they're excited, but No, they're they're they're, they're appreciative and everything, but I, I don't know why the microphone and speakers require. I can't do that. It's too late for me to build a wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just one gets over, that's, that's game. Shit. Yeah, that, that's game over for Israel, for Jerusalem. No matter how much ammo you got, they, they just, they got through. They're smart, they're at least smart enough to know to continuously go up that side of the wall and build their little thing so they can hop over. It only takes one bite. Yep. It only takes one bite. 
Damn. That's wild. It literally looks like the intro. Yeah, exactly. You take down that bottom part, that'll fall. Uh, it'll look exactly like it was the intro at the beginning with the ants and the other, like the bees and all that. Why is he being left alone? Same thing with the other, um, the older individual in the beginning when they were trying to get to the apartment in the beginning of the movie or the first part of the film. Damn, imagine that. Just all that weight just hitting you like that. Oh, Lord. Damn, these NFL tackles over here. Oh. He just trapped all those people, huh? Oh, Lord. Oh. That shit's wild. Look at that. Close the damn door. Oh, my Lord. Nope. Bro, this shit's wild. Oh, no. oh. Make sure you have enough ammo to be able to get out of whatever situation you're in. That's the third person that's... That's what I'm saying. Why are you wasting all that ammo? Just, just, just go. I don't know how the hell you get out of this situation. Well, that grenade might clear enough. Y'all need to go. Yeah. Her hand looks fine. No? Yeah, he hella her show his her ass. Oh, it's hella clutch by him, but damn. Oh no, there's so much weight is gonna be on the one side, huh? Yep. It's wild how aggressive they are. 394, requesting immediate deposit. Oh, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> what about the rest of them? This is so wild to see. They did a really good job. That sucks. The only true defense they had and it all just crumbled. Change the bandits when you clean it, okay? Okay, you better drink a little more. Yeah, disinfect your hands and then... Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cutting it off, how did you know it would work? I didn't. <laughs> Just take a risk. For the clues there. Were they all sick or something? All you can do is find a way to hide. Did they all have a disease already? Because normally with hosts like this, they want to be able to go to something that's healthy enough for them to stay alive. There are people directed us. Oh, whales. Awesome. <laughs> Why is the dog barking? Is is it? Is there something that the dog don't like? Hey, how do you know? Don't tell me there's a zombie on the airplane. Oh lord! Can't get a break, bruh. It's just just be silent enough to be able to do that. Not too, not too quick though. Don't, don't. You're gonna talk. Yep. <laughs> Bro, you got glasses too. Like you, you knew where the slot is. Like Tetris. Oh my lord, bro. <laughs> Such a sucky position. I don't know how many people are actually on this airplane. Did they all get infected, or most of them just. You definitely don't have enough ammo to be able to do all this. Bro, don't. What's the, what, what? Yo, Brad Pitt and, uh, oh, I forget her name. Y'all need to get tied up to that chair. Y'all need to get in that seat or something. 
I don't even know if y'all would live, but at least being attached to your seat is better than nothing. It's like a horrible roller coaster right now. Oh, all that land, and they chose to be in between those trees. They didn't choose. It's just terrible. <laughs> Where's she at? Hope she's okay. Dang, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> Glad to see she's okay. They're not too far off. Oh, is that supposed to be the research center? For the vaccines and all that? Yes. Nice. Only concern is, is what's going to be in the building now. They're being shipped to a new location. Understandable though, you, you gotta uh, gather as much resources as possible, especially when you're on the ship like that. He feels like utter crap though. Well, that was nice, but why, why is he tied up? Are they thinking he's gonna turn? He's just watching him. Why'd you keep looking at him? Because he's the one in charge. <laughs> How long have I been out? Three days. Give me the phone. Oh. This is Tiago Matoni. I'm sorry, Jerry. I don't. I did what I could. This family has been sent to a refugee camp in Nova Scotia. Oh. I lost my son and wife in Rome. I lost my son to something that had once been my wife. Yeah. Deadly pathogen with a high mortality rate, but curable. It's for us. It's for us, yeah. I have witnessed him literally bypass people. Walk right around him like a river around a rock. Why? It's not a cure. It's camouflage. Yeah, but how, how far are you talking, though, for the disease? Would be essentially invisible to the enemy. They're all stored in B-Wing. Is it infected? So he says something about a terminal Ill illness. So that means it would be towards like something that possibly has no cure or something that you can possibly maintain. But there's that line of, is there something that you can find that can be curable or something that can be really, really well maintained and possibly get to a cure and be able to still have that camouflage? Because then it ends up becoming, you know, you getting this serious illness and even though you're able to camouflage around the zombies and everything, it ends up becoming a line of you only living up to a certain point or a few months or whatever to be able to, you know, pull this off. So there's definitely going, there's definitely that discussion of you needing, well, where's that line that you're able to have an illness that might not, that could be possibly curable. And that's definitely the discussion. That's a, Definitely very risky, but an interesting concept um, for the for the whole idea of going against um, zombies. How many are there? There were 80 people working there. 80 people. This is the sky bridge. Oh, oh, I do not like that. I know I'm not asking one of you to take him there. But it don't matter. It's, it's the best thing you got so far at the moment. It only makes the rest of them more... Aggressive. No, it's interesting because it's it, it, it's kind of like the zombies like took it personal <laughs> where you're killing their buddy. Hey, don't be so loud when you're closing that. You did not need to do that. It was a lot of noise right there. You could have waited till they were at the end of the hallway. Pick up your feet, bruh. Pick up your feet. Oh, that could have been really bad. Oh. Did, did they turn it on or was that just a sensitive? Um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Well, it's just, it's a sensor that, you know. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, Lord. Time. Yeah, go, go, go. I feel like he's gonna mess up. They're fine. <laughs> I 
Oh, great, another hallway. This is pretty far. <laughs> she went F this and she's. <laughs> so get in the vault. There, I think it's like one on two, right? Or one on one. You got this. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's so stuck in his brains, huh? <laughs> That's the vault. We can make it. No, we can't. Yeah, you cannot. Oh. Feels like one or two, maybe, but no, no. They need to have that door open. Oh. You can't open it. They are coming back. You make your decision. Go, go, go. Oh, that was so close. Oh, technically they cleared it. They cleared it for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not purposefully, but <laughs> it works out. My concern is, is when you grab all the vials of whatever, are you going to be able to, you know, walk out? Like how you, yeah. Five, six, nine, six, four. Five, six, nine, six, four. Nice. She came in clutch. If she didn't find him, he would have just broken. Yeah. Five, six, nine, six, four. Why'd you leave it? The... Not that one. <laughs> just grab as much as you can, I guess. Just a little bit of everything. Maybe not all. Yeah. Okay. Bruh. Jeez. What is he gonna do? If he uses anything he took from that left case, he's dead anyway. This is a serious roulette. <laughs> Are they able to signal like right, like move the camera to be able to say yes or no? Oh, what a risk. That's not the question we're really asking, is it? What did he inject himself with? Is he going to be dead? With a matter of minutes or what? He's probably going to feel like crap, though, that's for sure. This make or break right here, huh? Oh, that's wild. That was full frustration from that zombie of just like, what the hell? He walked right past him. Question is, though, what exactly did he take down? That's crazy. So I'm guessing that was the cure? Whatever was the thing that she injected him with? I'm guessing. This isn't the end. But it's given us a chance. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable going back into my home. <laughs> All of them just running around like that. Not that affected. I guess it's meant for the people who are still, you know, hiding in their apartments or whatever. And, and, and fighting back. Engage. Just bring a whole bunch to the stadium and just napalm it or whatever, yeah. Our war has just begun. That was good. That was good. I do enjoy seeing uh, the different iterations on how the zombie world is tackled in the sense of just survivability, uh, you just being a normal individual in a little group walking dead so on and so forth uh you having the possibility of understanding their weakness uh when it comes to zombies or the undead uh just the different iterations and how it's handled kind of like uh train to busan um i believe they have like i think it was cataracts or something like that like i love the different iterations and kind of how it's tackled 
individually. It's really really cool, and, and also the way how the zombies kind of respond if it's like uh, really really quick like this and very aggressive, or you have yourself the whole version of, of zombies where they kind of walk like they got a broken leg and they're kind of just <laughs> slowly walking. So there's definitely uh, different iterations, different uh, approaches to this concept. And this was definitely a very, very interesting way of um, approaching the idea of zombies entering um, a universe, a world, right? But yeah, no, that was a definitely a, a great movie. Uh, definitely enjoyed from... It, it was definitely uh, well done. Definitely well done. But yeah, I do appreciate y'all. Please uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, but I'll talk to you later. Peace.